What's up everyone, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll talk about the third page of Fighter Records, how to solve all riddles, secrets, and starting with Volcano Lava Land, the first stage here. This one has a lot of things to do. First, you just have to click the center rock here. It will give you a reward. There are three fights, go through all of them, you will unlock a portal. And after you went through the portal, you see uh, this signpost here after some fights that says, Oh, you who are, show your might here. Is he now an assassin or a sorcerer? Well, this character here is Dark, because it's related to the lore on Romancing Saga Minstrel Song, where Dark and Aldora in a bit the same body. So you can be a sorcerer or an assassin in the same body. So bring Dark to any fight, you can find this version of Darky on the Romancing Shop, there is yet another one as well, and when you defeat any fight with Dark in your party, you will unlock the path. Now, uh, you can also click the top rock here, this will give you a reward if I'm not mistaken, click all of them if you want. Um, there is a boss stage here, but right on the top there is also this cave entrance, you have to click to unlock, and when you do it, you will unlock a new path. And when you are here, you can uh, unlock this treasure chest after the second fight. Then there is a reward here on the bottom urn. And then you should enter the portal. And here there are some rocks you should click then. You get, I think, something from the left rocks. And uh, stage number 10 has a mission. You have to bring three characters to overkill the enemy. It is easily done if you want to use overdrive. Well, you can bring the latest uh, Barthelemy or Labelle to fill your overdrive gauge, or slowly fill it by using remote attacks. Unequip your characters if you want to do so. And you can also bring characters that are already fully charged with their overdrive gauge. But you should equip them, because they need to kill the enemy, and after they kill the enemy, the next character has to attack an enemy that's already dead. So, bring any formation with these three characters that I'm bringing here, Kihachi, Swift, and Ritter, and that will work. Well, just remove the full power of auto button, then you should click Overdrive, and then use your best attacks. So, as soon as your first attacker kills the enemy, Second attacker is already killing uh, that enemy, and that will already be overkill. So, three characters on overkill. Enemy is already dead. Swift deals a lot of damage here. Because the enemy is weak to cold. And being weak to cold also means that Ihachi will do insane amounts of damage. Critter in the back row, so enemy is already dead. Critter could have missed the kill. I'm not so sure. No. Oh. He will still kill the enemy by himself. But that's already done. Just kill the next enemy and you'll be fine. Okay, now we shall move back to the portal. Enter the cave again. And now we can grind the boss stage. I suggest you to do the normal, not the challenge version. And here you can bring either Galahad or you can also bring Vassalt. But I don't have any with Vassalt. I'll run Galahad. Okay, Galahad will easily do this. Just click full power again. But Vassalt is much better, faster, but I didn't pull for Vassalt. So Galahad, please keep helping me out, please. Because I don't want to pull for older farmers, for now at least. And that will lead you to level 99 if you use memory rematch. Easily done. The second stage is the Buried City, and this one is pretty long, there's many different paths. You start here, and uh, just defeating the second stage will already give you the treasure chest, uh, but after the portal, you need to use the rope. And where do you find the rope? Okay, you can find the rope on the fourth stage, but that is the Forest of Hidden Folks. Let's go there. And you just have to click in this part around here, 
you will find the rope. The game will just say you found. Okay, now we shall go back to the buried city. And now you can keep traveling. That will uh, allow you to do fight number three, four, boss as well. But after that, you can go to the portal. After you reach this point here, okay, uh, here there is the center, call it ancient city center. You can move to the left side first, and there is just one fight and two treasure chests. There's a signpost saying that there's a hidden path to land brimming with lava. This is just something to understand another riddle. Now we can go to the right side. And in the right side, we have here another fight, two treasure chests. And there are rumors of a black state hidden in certain ancient ruins. That's because we already did this before. Here we have a green shiny stone located exactly here on the center. You have to click around here and you get the green shiny stone. We already talked about this on the first video. Now we shall move back and grind the boss stage. That is quick to pierce. The only character that can solo this with pierce damage is the newest Pomela. But as always, Leon can also do the job. For now, Leon will work in any stage where there's just one enemy. It's just slow, but well, it works for everything. Why sumo for many <laughs> units if Leon can do the job, right? The second wave will be a little slower. Starts with a weaker attack. But he still do the job. See? Okay, next one will be Suspicious Village. And this one here has many different parts as well. Uh, first fight, second fight, enter a portal. Then here you see a signpost saying, For you who are, show your mind here, passing on this power together. This is related to the Romancing Saga 2 lore, where Leon passes his power to Gathered. So you need to bring Leon to a fight, and there is a free, easy version of Leon to get. They style, just bring it, it will be enough, and finish any stage with him. Then after that, uh, you can move to the next portal, after you open the treasure chest. Uh, here you will find the boss fight already. But after the boss fight, you find a button here where you can send some different shoots. The first one, the white shoot, is right here on this treasure chest. So we need to find the other four to unlock the portal that will give you many different rewards. Okay, so let's find them all. The first one being the orange shoot. You can find it on the volcano Lava Land. We already did that. We needed to do three overkill actions uh, inside the cave that was uh, around here and down. This treasure chest had the orange shoot. Okay, now we need to go to the buried city. And the buried city, it's only unlocked after stage level 30. After you went through the portal, after using the lantern, go north, and when you get back to the city, go to the right. And here on the right, the top right chest will be unlocked after you reach stage level 30. That's the third. Now, the last one is on the fourth page on Cave Ancient Ruins 1. You just have to tap the top right rock multiple times until it gives you the black shoot. Now, with all of the shoots on your assassin, uh, go back to the third part, Suspicious Village, and deliver all the shoots into the bottom here. Click the portal and grab all five treasure chests. Now, let's talk about how to grind the boss stage. Well, you can bring Pamela because she has single target with shadow damage, and then she will easily farm, but I don't have, so let's use Leon again. 
You can also find human enemies here, so the latest or Pina with cross break they sometimes work, but you may have to restart to find the right enemies. Bomb level will always work. And game will always work as well. Just a little bit slow. Extremely slow. The last being Forest of Hidden Folks. Here on the first part, you can click the top flower to get a reward. Click the sign post after first and second fight. And it says, this beast infested forest has likely claimed the lives of many a traveler. You may be able to find their belongings. And after that, you can move to the portal. You already found the rope that was already located around here. And you will find a boss. Uh, top flower has reward. And I believe one of those flowers close to the boss as well. You can also offer 50 souls by killing 50 enemies. And this will unlock a treasure chest. This boss here is simple. It's just a week to slash. Multiple enemies, that means that you can run Galahad. Maybe Saruin with help, but also the newest Solchis. Well, I'll be running Galahad once more. Okay, Galahad, you have to work for me because Saruin is failing, he needs help. And I don't want to bring you more characters than needed. But... If you only have Saruin, bring some people that increases damage potential. And he will work. This will also be the end of this video. I hope this can help you solve all the riddles. And there's more videos to come. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. I hope to see you soon on the next one. Bye.